Hello and welcome back to the mission building series. This is the second video that I'm putting together and I'm going to cover creating a template this time round. I'm going to create this particular template which is a roadblock. The important thing to bear in mind is that you can create templates only from uh, units and not static units. Um, so I'll take you through the process. Here we are in the mission editor. What I want to do first is create the units that will make a roadblock at this particular junction intersection. What I want to do first is I want to go and zoom in on that particular location and I want to use the line tool to find out what angle the road is going off at. So it's approximately 75 degrees. So now what we'll do is we'll go into the units, fortification. I want to create a road outpost first so we'll put that in there and I want it at 75 degrees which is great. Now I want to add a unit to it so I'm going to go on that arrow on the second unit which puts me in another road outpost and it puts it there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to troops and I'm going to put some M4 guys in so that's one, two, three. So that's the infantry sorted. What I also want to do is I want to put in some armed Humvees and uh, a troop carrier. So now what I'm going to do is click on the fifth one, change that to armor, and select the armed Humvee. So I want two of those. So that's one, two, and then for the third one I want the infantry carrier, so I'll use the APC M113. Done. And there we go, that's all the units taken care of. Now we just need to position them. So I'll show you how that works. Okay, here we are with the units that I created earlier. And now we're going to position them where I think they should be um, to be able to make it look like it's a good road outpost. One soldier here. One soldier here. Put a Humvee there. Put a Humvee there. One troop. Oh, there's my little troop carrier. Put that about there. Now what we'll do is we'll zoom in and do a little bit of closer placing and angling. So to change the angle of the vehicle, basically just use the arrow key or change its heading by typing it in there. Now it's very hit and miss so you're going to have to go into the mission editor, uh, sorry into the, the mission itself um, to see how it actually works and the easy way to do that now that I've set all of those up is to go to the two flags which is battlefield commanders uh, and in there, in the Game Master, select one off on the blue side, and that will allow you to select those items on the map and have a look at them and how you set them up. Here we are in the mission, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the role of Game Master and click OK and fly. And then I'm going to click on one of the units itself and press F7 so that I can see it in its actual location. And to be fair, that's not too bad. You can see that the road outpost is in place, all the vehicles are set, the troops are reasonably well placed. So what I'll do now is I will save that as a template. Here we are back in the mission editor. And what you can do if some of these things are not exactly in the right position where you wanted them, then obviously you can move them around here uh, until you get it exactly perfect for you. Uh, and then you can save the template. But I'll take you through that template process now. What we'll do is we'll click on the first unit, which was the road outpost. Fortification road outpost. Then we're going to go up to edit. And we're going to click add template. Now that will give you the country and the name of a, a current template that you may have. But we're interested in this bit here, which is the Create New Template. Now, the new vehicle group 10 was this whole setup here. 
And what I want to call it is, um, we'll call it roadblock. Roadblock. And then simply click Save Template and close that down. Right, now that we've made the template, it's time to use it. So what I'll do is I will zoom out. Because there's another road junction just here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that same template, a road outpost, to that junction. So what we'll do now is going to go to Edit, select Add Template. It was the USA that I made it for, and it's in my drop-down list as roadblock. Its current heading is set to 75, which is more or less perfect. What I will do is I will move the mouse pointer onto the similar position that I had when I built it, and paste it there. I'll just make sure. Sometimes the mission editor has a bit of a, a, a hissy fit, so we'll type in 75. And I think that's just about right. Now we can click the cross on the templates and shut that down. And because this is a whole group, we should be able to move it. Um, so if I click on the first unit, which was the road outpost, I always click on the first unit to move the whole lot, just to get that about right. And that should be placed quite nicely. OK, we're back in the mission editor. And as you can see, that was the location of the first um, setting up of the template. And that's the placement of the new template that we created. If we go here and press F7, that was the original template. And now what we'll do, we'll go F10 and we'll go and look at the template that we placed. And have a look there. Click on one of the units, press F7. And as you can see, perfect placement. And that's how simple it is to set up a template. I know it's been a rather lengthy video on how to set it up, uh, and the process is reasonably involved, uh, but once it's done, it's done, uh, and you can place that template on any mission, on any map that you want. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.